Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you how to use Simple Arp, which as the name implies is a very simple arpeggiator that I uploaded recently to the Reactor user library. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new Reactor content at least once a week and a lot more. So Simple Arpeggiator is a tool that receives MIDI data and it cycles through all of the currently pressed MIDI notes uh, one at a time at a speed and direction chosen by the user. And then you can ship those MIDI notes to another synthesizer or drum machine or whatever. So here's a quick sample. Okay, so there I was just playing three notes. Um, the bottom two notes were always the same, and then I was moving around what the highest note was. So pretty simple to get little patterns like that and other things out of this. So let's take a look at how you can connect this to a synthesizer. And I'll start by showing how we can connect it to another reactor instrument. And uh, then I'll show how we can route it to any VST inside Ableton. So this is what the insides of Simple Arp look like when you originally download it from the user library. And to add an instrument, we can just right click, go to the instrument folder. I'm gonna select a synthesizer and let's go with uh, say Carbon 2. And to look at the MIDI connections of this instrument, click on the instrument itself and go to the Connect tab of Properties. And we have some options in the MIDI In section. Uh, first, I'm going to connect to the audio outputs so we can hear what's going on. So by default, this will receive MIDI data from our MIDI keyboard and not from the arpeggiator instrument. And we can hear that by simply pressing a note. And you can change that just by setting it to receive uh, MIDI from external instruments on a different channel. And then we can connect it to the arpeggiator using the From Internal Instruments menu and just select Arpeggiator from the menu. And now everything's set up, but it won't work properly until we start the uh, MIDI clock, either inside Reactor or inside your DAW. All right, so next we can just pick our favorite snapshots and have a go. Sure, that works. kind of sounds similar to something, but I can't quite place what it is. Uh, so let's check out now how we can uh, set this up to work with any VST via Ableton. So load up a instance of Reactor on an empty track and load up an instance of Simple Arp inside of that. And I'm going to grab MIDI from my MIDI device, which is a livid block, and set the monitor to input. And at this point, you should be able to see incoming MIDI data arriving at your MIDI, mo MIDI monitors in the track. And then we can load an instance of a VST into another channel. I'm going to use FM8. and set the MIDI from to come from the reactor channel. And then we also need to choose reactor from the second drop-down menu there and turn this monitor to input as well. And it's still not gonna work until you press play on the transport at the top. Okay. 
Okay, well that's pretty quiet, but it is arriving. So the reason why I like to use FM8 is because FM8 has its own arpeggiator, which is kind of built a little more like you might think of as a sequencer. And by combining the two arpeggiators, we can get a pretty cool effect. So in order for this to work, we need to turn off Keysync. So what Keysync does is it restarts FM8's arpeggiator every time it receives a new note. And since Simple Arp is constantly sending a stream of new notes, um, the sequence here will just keep getting restarted every time. So we want to turn that off. But first, here's what happens if we leave it on. All right, so when we have it turned off, we can play back the whole sequence. And we can also shift it up or down by an octave or a fifth or whatever simply by holding down two notes at once and it'll cycle between those two starting points for the arpeggiator. And you can get some great effects this way. Alright, so that's how to use Simple Arpeggiator. I'll leave a download link in the video description. Once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. If you like this tutorial, please check out our website. Uh, we also have another website called FM8Tutorials.com that you might be interested in as well. Um, I'll be back next week with a new Reactor tutorial. I'll see you then.